Hello and welcome back to Do News. I am your host, the King of Do, taking a look at CoinCap IO and uh, just seeing what the market is up to. About this time yesterday, we were bleeding, and uh, Bitcoin's at about uh, the same as it was yesterday. This time, just slightly up, actually. Um, it seems to have improved a bit. But um, if you uh, back up your guys' charts and take a look at what's been happening over the last. Uh, few days it's still quite the downward trend um, they often call this type of rise uh, a, pot a potential trap um, I'm not gonna get into any technical analysis I'm not even gonna talk about what I think is gonna happen um, that's for you guys to decide many of you are gonna hold through it all some of you are uh, attempting to buy low sell high um, and there's been many opportunities to do that, as uh, <laughs> very recently, in fact, with some violent $50 swings. Um, ever since we uh, added those Chinese exchanges uh, uh, late last month, um, I believe it was, uh, volatility has been through the roof on Ethereum. Uh, wild swings up and down, so just be prepared for that, um, for you Ethereum holders out there, because it's getting a little crazy compared to some of the other ones that are out there. Um, but overall, uh, market capitalization at uh, 95 right now, and uh, it did dip below the 90 mark just for a moment, um, and that's something to keep an eye on. You know, we want to see it ideally get back above 100, then we can say, you know, maybe this isn't um, a long-term pullback, it's a short one, it's just a dip. Um, but a uh, little bit of momentum uh, here being lost. But uh, nothing to freak out about. This stuff's here to stay. It's not going to disappear overnight. And uh, many of you have locked up your investments um, and uh, buried them somewhere. So um, you got nothing to worry about, nothing to care about. And so maybe you don't even want to talk about the markets. So let's get right to what we do best, the news. I want to talk to you guys about Rex. I want to talk about Rex ICO. Uh, this one was uh, actually uh, introduced to me by my father, who's a real estate agent, and uh, this one is very fascinating. Very small team, but what they're trying to accomplish makes perfect sense, and uh, it's very easy to understand, basically, if you've ever even purchased a home. Um, if you're not familiar with what MLS is, that's a multiple listing service. Here in America, it's basically a monopoly. Uh, you basically use it when you're going to purchase a house. Uh, real estate agents use it, and there's really no other tool to use um, to basically identify all of the properties available for sale. Uh, essentially, um, there is a consensus that exists in the industry that that is the tool to use to share information about your listing um, in order to do deals. Um, so it's a great tool for agents and uh, great tools for people in the market as well. So, but it's expensive, super expensive, and Rex is trying to bring it to the world for free. Um, and what they want to do is they want to reward real estate agents for putting in the information. Um, so you as an agent can actually uh, sign up on there and make your own profile, almost like a LinkedIn profile is the best way to imagine it. Um, and then you can actually upload listings and uh, get rewarded for uploading uh, these listings and keeping the data up to date. So, very fascinating idea. Um, I think it has a lot of potential. Uh, they do have an ICO in July, so it's something to be looking out for. Uh, I'm actually kind of excited a little bit about the uh, market dipping. I feel like... Um, the return on investment on some of these ICOs will be much greater uh, since we'll be able to get in for much less. A lot of these ICOs are putting uh, like Ether caps, so it doesn't matter if Ether is, you know, uh, $300 or a <laughs> dollar. You know, it's they're, they're accepting X amount of Ether, and so it'd be ideal if Ether came down sometimes, but uh, just, just for investment purposes. Um, so that's just me being greedy. Moving on from Rex, uh, just I just want to make sure you guys go check it out. There's a lot of time on this one. I want to give you a full heads up on one that I think is very intriguing. I think that the application uh, that 
they're applying blockchain technology to actually makes sense. It, it can actually be done. Um, it's very uh, obtainable. And it's really just about adoption after that. Are people actually going to use it? So if you're a real estate agent out there listening to me, go ahead and leave a note in the comments. Let us know what you think about Rex. Uh, maybe you're in the market right now for a home too. Take a look at Rex. It'll mean a lot more to you right now if you're if you're in the market for uh, a home. So take a look at it. Let me know what you guys think. All right, moving on. Uh, in other news, you know it's fascinating. Um, I did one uh, video on mining, just a quick 101, because I got so many questions about it. And um, guys, it's by far my best video so far. I've done uh, at least statistically speaking. I know uh, I have a lot of people that only want to hear the news from me, um, but I've been debating how I can actually uh, maybe do some more mining videos or something like that, and maybe I have two channels, or maybe there's some way that I can be real clear about, you know, this video is about mining, so don't waste your time, set up the playlists differently, things like that. I've been contemplating it a lot, but I'm going to just touch on this because this is news. This is mining related news, proof of work news, in that um, we have some new uh, video cards coming out. So AMD and NVIDIA are going uh, after Bitcoin miners. And if you head on over to Asus.com, you can actually check these cards out. So what we have here is an RX 474 gig, um, which is a little bit of a head scratcher. Um, but also potentially proof that they've been working on this for much longer than we thought. Um, because, as we all know, the RX 474 gigs, as far as their long-term capabilities, uh, will potentially run out of steam based on the difficulty algorithm and the adoption and all of that. Really, there won't be that much money to be made um, using these cards in about six months. But these ones are much more efficient so maybe it'll last longer and that being said too if the price of ethereum continues to go up and up and up they, they'll definitely uh reward the owners quite substantially so some uh, additional upgrade features that they're doing um double ball bearings and things like that to last an extra long time um dust resistance uh, they're going to make it real nice and clean. You know, uh, if you've ever bought a gaming card, I wish I could rip one out of my machine over here and show you uh, what, I, what I'm talking about, but a lot of gaming cards, there's a lot of frills, right? They put lights on it, and they try to make them all uh, beautiful um, and uh, try to add value that way by looking cool. These cards are not going to be that flashy. They're going to be nice and clean, um, and actually, as a miner, that's what I want. I, I don't want my cards getting stuck on things, and I don't know. If you've ever built a machine, you know what I'm talking about out there. Uh, you know that uh, having a card with a lot of rigid edges and weird, quirky things on it is very frustrating, and um, looks like they're you know, not going to have to deal with that. They're going to make it a smooth design. Um, you'll still be able to overclock them as normal. Um, other things that I found um, online is that they're expecting... Uh, it to be designed for 24-7 operation. Um, so there's some other thing, changes that they're making to the card physically to uh, help it run 24-7. Like they have that in mind. So that's really good news. So it's kind of cool to see some actual mining hobbyist cards come out. Um, these will not be dual purpose. I think that that is a huge downside actually to these um, is that the resale value, right? Um, it's real easy to sell cards because there's a bunch of people um, that play games using these cards, and they they you know they I can sell one to them, and they're cool with it because they get a really good deal um, on a used car. Now the card has been used r relatively hard, but um, you know um, it can still play games just fine. Uh, these things have plenty of life life in them, so. Um, the new mining cards aren't going to let that happen, so you're not going to really be able to do that. Um, you're not going to be able to sell it. They have one port um, essentially on it. Um, I'm assuming to save costs and make things more simple. So keep that in mind. I also think that the one port is going to help keep things cool um, and uh, kind of moving the ports out of the way, allowing more airflow, things of that nature. So um, pretty neat. Um, just frustrating that it's a 470, right? Uh, 
if you're familiar with how cars work right now, AMD has 470 480s. Um, they've been out for quite a while, and now they've got the 500 series. So this is like a whole generation behind and the lower end card. I hope and expect that they'll come out with the other ones, but it's classic video game style uh, business to release the newer version over and over and over. And I, I just feel like they're sticking to the same model when really... It's not like that. Um, I don't think miners are really going to be like, oh, I got to upgrade slightly to the next one. I don't know. Just doesn't do it for me. Um, so I was kind of hoping that this would be like a 570, 580. Um, but it's not. Right here, um, they look almost the same. Asus again, uh, using the same design. This one's NVIDIA. Uh, this one is my uh, what I am projecting to be the one that sells the best. This is the one that I plan on pre-ordering and getting my hands on as many as possible. Uh, now, by the numbers, a little hint here, they have a 1060, 1070, 1080 series out, and the best one for mining is 1070. NVIDIA has already announced that they're making a special mining machine that essentially is hosting a bunch of 1060s. It's likely this card inside. Very likely. That being said, if you read the number right here, P106 makes me believe that it's potentially a 1060. I'm only guessing, but it's potentially a 1066 gig. I think that's important too. Um, if you notice, the 470 was only a 4 gig. Uh, the This model is a 6 gig, which means it's going to handle um, larger DAGs and essentially have a longer shelf life um, in the mining world. So just something to think about. They claim that this particular card is going to get 60, 36, sorry, 36% more hash rate than um, its current card. So... I don't know what they mean by that because they don't even clearly state what the current card is. It's just they say at the same segment. So if this is a 1060, if, if my prediction is correct, um, this essentially will get you 36 more hash. And it's supposed to use less power. That is nice. That is very nice. Price point will be critical, but that is very nice. Um, less power is better for the environment. Um, it's more cost effective for the miners and uh, which means uh, you know pr more more profits and uh, also uh, potentially a cheaper entry point uh, so maybe more people can help secure more networks because there's so many different ones to support Nvidia cards support a wide range of networks uh, very well and that's why I'm predicting that this one is going to be the hot one to get much more than the 470 because uh, right now I can foresee people building 1060 machines. Uh, they, they, they work just fine, easy to build, uh, much cheaper than trying to build 1070s. And um, so yeah, I can see it going places. Moving on, um, I wanted to talk to you guys about ant shares a little bit and not in the way that you think I'm gonna talk about it. I want to talk to everyone who's purchased some or potentially own some, or you're thinking about owning it. There's something that you really need to understand about ant shares that isn't made very clear unless you actually do your homework. And um, a lot of people bought in on this coin because they're like hearing about it being the next Ethereum. It's like the Chinese version of Ethereum. You know, you've heard about them rebranding to Neo, and um, they're in the mainstream media over in China, getting lots of press now. And um, you know. There's something you have to know. What if I told you your ant shares are essentially your proof of ownership of the blockchain and that it's actually not a coin? Interesting, right? So your ant shares basically are for governance purposes. Okay? Keep that in mind. So if you own ant shares, you actually own a vote or a certain amount of voting power. It's very important you understand that. Well, I think there's a lot of misconception about out there about this, or just people don't know yet. 
but that's what ant shares is now you can earn ant coins listen closely if you go and actually go to the website and you click client you may have to translate this to see it all you can actually download ant shares right here you can download the client it's pretty straightforward very uh, download install uh, just like any blockchain now you do have to wait for it to sync that could take days uh, and take a lot of internet bandwidth if you don't want to wait there's some great help on the ant shares reddit that will help speed that process up where you can download the file download the entire blockchain and then it only takes a few hours to get synced up that being said if you're not technical savvy at all um, I wouldn't mess with that I would just go ahead and download and wait for the syncing it's gonna take a few days now once you have it synced up move your ant shares off of wherever you're keeping it if you own it and you live in America the chances are it's on Bittrex right now um, but whatever exchange you're on you move it to the ant shares wallet and that's it sit back relax and know you're actually collecting ant coins why do you want ant coins well right now they're not tradable their market value is technically zero but what if I told you ant coins are the actual equivalent to ether what if I told you it's actually what makes the blockchain work and run what if I told you you could have it for free if you just own ant shares you just stick it in your wallet and you start accumulating your ant coins okay so just wanted to share that with you guys because as I think it's I think it's an awesome opportunity especially if you believe in ant shares and you're already holding it I think there's a ton of people that have it on the exchange and guess who's getting all the ant coins guess who you're giving it to the exchange is literally making it rain by simply holding it in the wallet it's really fascinating uh, that it's not really clear they don't talk about it much on their site um, and uh, even the few times it's popped up on reddit and people try to explain what to do it's very confusing but I hope I simplified it for you guys download the wallet and put your ant shares in it as always be careful maybe do a test transaction to make sure you don't screw it up first make sure it arrives okay their blockchain is crazy fast so it's really just you just wait on Bittrex to do their thing and it's there almost instantly so that's it guys that's it free coins that will absolutely be worth something they already are they're just not on an exchange so there you go go essentially uh, mine uh, some ant shares without even doing anything and um, yeah hope you enjoyed this episode if you like this type of information if you learned something interesting make sure you subscribe you can come back and learn more at the end of this video you'll see a link to my last video uh, definitely check that out as well um, if you're enjoying this and uh, thumbs up and all those good things leave a comment as well we love talking with you guys and um, make sure you guys stick around go check out some some more uh, cryptocurrency videos here on YouTube get excited about this stuff don't get put off by the blood in the streets don't get put off by the market uh, pulling back it's got to happen not everything goes up forever and this is a good thing it's a healthy thing it's a normal thing if it continued to go up it would continue to get more and more scary <laughs> way too fast because anyone who's been in investing for any you know decent amount of time knows that there's got to be healthy pullbacks to go higher and so this is a pullback I don't know it, it's pretty healthy I think we could have a healthier one still don't forget that ethereum was only forty dollars not that long ago and a year ago it was seven dollars so we've seen twenty five hundred percent returns congratulations to everyone on that and if you're still holding well good for you I'll see you on the moon but until then I am the king of dew may the force be with you